Oh my goodness. This is the day, guys. So today we are doing interior painting. Let me show you and tell you our process. So first, what I like it, and from my experience, I'll tell you this, finish all touches. Like I'm talking about stone, and we can see it here, fireplace. The fireplace, it's done. All decoration beams, it's done. The floor, it's done. The railing, it's done. Tile work, it's done. The reason why I'm doing that way, because last mess. Because when people cutting the stone or tile, and a lot of dust flying to the walls. Like my boys right now doing, you can see it. We are masking the old tile, all vanities, all baths. He's preparing for shooting the paint. Okay, so like right here at this master suite, what you can see it, you can see the old tile work, it's done, it's there. So no more mess. The best preparation, the best quality you will get, the results. Step number one, sweep the floors. Sweep the floors, clean the windows. Number two, you need to mask the floors after you guys sweeping. You can use the uh, scotch tape or you can use the blue tape. Usually blue tape, it costs more money, I'll tell you this and everybody knows. And we use the blue tape where we are connecting to the wood. All doors, we already marked with numbers, okay? And I usually, I like mark numbers in the top. Some people use in the hinges or in the doorknob. All doors will put in an open space and we spray it two coats. First, it's preparation. Second, we do uh, meal works. After we painting meal works, we masking every baseboard casing and doors, we covering. Like I said, it's candy wrap, we call. So after down, we spray primer for walls and ceiling. And I'd like to paint walls first and ceiling second. If you have, let's say one color, walls and ceiling, it doesn't matter. We have couple colors like right here and this wall, right here and our wall. We can see it right here. The reason why we are applying a different spot and different angle and different room um, paint, because every room, every space has a different lighting. And you can see how it's in the daylight and the evening light, how those paint react when you guys doing touch-ups and a lot of people like struggling with touch-ups. I'll give you a couple tips. First of all, the brush have to be dry. For touch-up, you need to leave paint through the gun. The PSI from gun, it's too much pressure and going up from small hole and you apply paint to the wall, it's ready, the formula, it's ready broke. So I take the empty bucket and I'm shooting through the gun, I'm shooting paint to the bucket. So, and I leave this bucket to the homeowner for touch-ups. All bedrooms, HVAC vents, we are spraying. Same color like walls. Again, it's not necessary, it's my preference. The huge mistake what I see all the time. When people, especially when you have the window trim, 
any color. Let's say in our situation is almond. When you apply silicone, have to be clear silicone, but paintable. Mm -hmm.